Okay, for Zebra, we're going to learn about uh, two things. The first thing is going to be making inferences. So go ahead and pull out a fresh new sheet of paper. You want your first and last name, as always, period. And then go ahead and copy this down. So making inferences. Making an inference requires using hints from the text and your own experience to make a guess about something the author does not state directly. Okay, So when you infer, when you make an inference, the author hasn't told you what happened, but based on the text, based on your own life experience, you are able to know what has happened. Okay, And authors do that a lot. They call, they, they require you to infer what is going on in the story. I'm not going to tell you what's going on in the story because it makes it more interesting that you have to infer what's going on. So go ahead and copy this down on your paper. Once you're done with that, I'll show you the next part. So if you need to pause here, go ahead. <coughs> so on your paper, underneath what you just wrote down, there are going to be four times that you're going to need to do this. Okay. Uh, here's the first time. Okay. So you will need to, on your paper, copy down detail from the story. Okay. So on your paper, you will write detail from story, okay? And you'll write this down. Yeah, Mr. Larson is lazy, so he doesn't have to write it down. So it says, detail from the story. Most times, Zebra would stand alongside the basketball court or their wire screen at home, play, and watch games. Okay, so copy that down. Now you're going to tell me your experience. What is your experience when you see people doing what Zebra is doing? Okay, or maybe something that you have done. Okay, why would you stand all by yourself by a basketball court or a wire screen, right? Or have you seen people do that? And then down here, you're going to tell me what can you infer? What can you infer about zebra based on this detail from the story? So that's the first one. Then what you'll do is after you have filled out all three of these things, make a line. I don't have to do this, but you're going to write, copy this all down again, but then you're going to do the next detail from the story, which is Mrs. English stood staring a while at the letter. She turned away and touched her eyes. So what is your experience when people turn away and touch their eyes? What experience have you had? What can you infer? Again, your next one. Details from the story. A huge rushing shadow appeared in his line of vision and crashed into him and plunged him into darkness from which he emerged very, very slowly. So what is your experience with big rushing sh shadows? What can you infer? Your last one. Racing down Franklin Avenue, he had given him that put had, had given him that push and began to turn into an eagle. So, what kind of experience do you have with somebody turning into an eagle while they're racing? What do you think's going on? What can you infer? Okay? So those are the four things that you need to do. For each one, you need to do all of these. Okay, so I would imagine each one takes half a sheet. So half sheet here, then the bottom is a half sheet, turn it over, half sheet, half sheet. So you have a total of four. I'll go ahead and um, <coughs> put them in your view. And these are in no particular order. Okay, these happen throughout the entire story. Okay, so there's all four of them. So you will need to create this 
four times. The details from the story, you just plug each separate one of these in. Okay, So I'll leave it right there. You'll need to go ahead and copy that down. And then you'll need to tell me about your experiences and what you can infer.